if he had been living and he had received that, I, I think he would have said, it's about time. They're finally um, uh, going to induct him. I said, I know who's turning over in heaven. And I said, I know if the Lord lets me live, that would be one thing I will attend. Oh, yeah, he had to do everything just, just like he was part of the family. Every Monday, I washed clothes, and uh, he would have to uh, help me to hang the clothes up because it was just better that clothes hung up on the line outside to get the fresh mm -hmm. And he hated it with a good bash. Of course, he couldn't dance. And he said, you know, I need to know how to dance. And uh, I would have him in the middle of the floor. It was a great joy to have him. It restored her life. <laughs> you know, she was, it brightened everything up. It just made her a, a new person. Uh, mm -hmm. Made things more easier for her to accept. But that's what I want to put in my hands, the bus. And just imagine what he would be saying. He, he would tell me, come on, come on, come on. I can just see. She's going to cry. <laughs> you know, she's very sentimental. But it'd be with tears of joy. Yeah. Tears of joy. I knew if my husband had been living, he would have said that. He would have told them he was better than Michael Jordan. And he should have been there. What took you so long? I can hear him saying a lot of good things about it because uh, he knew that he was a Hall of Famer all his life. He always talked about it.